Pico no, can you go on? Iya na arona abia state. Iya na me na abia state now. How did you not do it again? Where is the money coming from? Where is the money abia state government is spending? Where is it coming from? Is it the same allocation that has been allocated to all the southeastern states? Kafa can he receive? Can we ever was it first? You want to hear again? No. Omo, my brother, he read to ask you because do his talk. He talk. The one with the boss my head, BCA Alex Oti, don't promise I'll be a state 24 hours power supply. Something that has never happened in this country. That was what he said that will happen in Abia State. And with the way things are going, it's very, very possible. Let me just be looking at hoping because if it eventually happens that Abia State now has steady power supply, guys, hey, let me tell you what will happen. When you talk of development, what brings about infrastructure and all that, development to a state is when you can provide security when you can give them good and working network when you can make policies that will attract investors when you can give them uninterrupted power supply to help cut down costs and make companies and investors come and invest and relax so right now in abia states they are working and fixing all the roads when you talk about the safest states in southeast right now abia states should come first because they have good security, they have good roads, and now he's promising them steady power supply. Yeah? He took, he took, and he's even making policies that will attract investors. Every business in Igbo land eh, will have a branch in Abia State. Just bear it in mind. Bear it in mind what I'm telling you. Shane, I mean, they tell you that very soon, these traffic jams where they, where they, where they reason for Lagos, they complain, say traffic jam, they Lagos. Come to Abia very soon. You will not able see to pass because traffic jam eh, will hit you front and back. Some of these billionaires and millionaires we have in Igbo land, some of them, they have gone to start buying land in Abia states. Aba, oh my, uh, name it. They are going there to go because of what they are seeing. They are going there to go and buy land. Why can't other governors come and learn from Governor Alex Oti and make Nigeria a better place? Yeah? See, government in Abia State is no more sweet because it's no more business as usual. See, as Abia pensioners are rejoicing and thanking Governor Alex Oti for the kind of alerts they are receiving in their phone. The money no be small money, oh. Nada, nada money, eh? Nada money, change don't ma see for your phone. So Jesus, so no love will be. All surprise you won't know. Because that money fit in your life. That money fit in your career, oh mo. Some people we are receiving 1.5 million, 700k, 2m, 800k. Testimony stroke now. You talk. So guys, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please and um, please, eh, click that like button, click subscribe button, click the button, make it just they go siri where eh? See as governor what he just they been doing, so everybody just they happy. This man na talk na do. This man they do it in talk. This one no be audio promise. So he visited the church a few weeks ago and he make he made a declaration that before the end of that day they were going to receive alerts and it happened the way in Tokam. it happened make i play video make you see sound they want you yeah what by the end of the day all of you will smile by the end of the day so guys you people have seen that i'm not whining you people let me even show you some part of the testimonies that people we are testifying about alex omar he talk so guys, these are part of the beneficiaries. This one is Christopher and he's saying, I can testify to this. My auntie who resides in Azikiwe Road, Abba, already received a lot. She couldn't believe her eyes. God bless Alex Oti for putting those smiles on her face. Ah, I'm being emotional right now. Governor Oti has done marvelously well. He has done marvelously well. The other one is Odogu Cash, and he's saying, My retired mother just called to tell me that Oti has done what all Jews are. 
T.A. Oji and Iqbazo couldn't do for her all these years. It's safe to say that at this point, there is nothing like opposition in Abia State. Ah, at all. There's nothing like opposition. Eh? This man meant business for these people. I thank God for him more because Abia people, you people are enjoy, you people are really enjoying. You people should be thanking God. Ah, so guys, please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please, I beg you, go and subscribe, go and like, share. So guys, let's move to the next topic. It is going to be an interesting one. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Governor Alex Oti flags up 11.5 kilometer Nonya Elwama Road. So guys, a lot of people have actually been asking where is the governor Alex getting all the money he's using to commission most of the road projects in the beautiful city of Abia State recently. Well, that is to let you know that there is a whole lot of money in the government. Now, the masses may be suffering, they might not be paying salaries, but there are a lot of people who their stomachs are so filled that their great-grandchildren are intoxicated because they don't know what to do with money. Anyways, this is him flagging off another road in the state. And yes, this is the highlight. Please do not forget to subscribe and drop a comment below. This protects us not just the beginning of our physical construction. Because we are not here. And now, I want to see God in as we go When we talk of the government, this is what is wrong. Um, that is aimed it's about infrastructure, um, visibility of the teaching um, hospital in the community um, of um, academics. In fact, it um, is a, a welcome development and because we are excited that this is happening at this moment. Months many people the who have to hear it will not have been possible because the hospital this was uh, more important than the honorable commissioners who are here present using the Honorable Commissioner for Justice and Attorney General Barrister Ikechuku Owanna to reach out to all of them, please your hands together. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, join me and welcome also another Isukweta son, Deputy Chief of Staff to the Governor, Mr. Chinedu Ekeke Biko Kaiko Puruniaka. Agapamicho Inabata, the mayor, Isukweta local government area, Air Vice Marshal Chiwendonike, where we are narrating out to the deputy mayor and of course every member of that particular local government area. Mayor, you're welcome. Let me welcome also special advisors to the governor and senior special assistants who are here today with particular reference to the SA to the Governor on Political Matters, Chief Acho Obioma Chomen, you're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome the so guys, you all are welcome back to this channel. You know one thing I like about this project is that it will lead to general strategy of opening up rural communities for greater prosperity through quick access to urban markets and increased investment which will ultimately yield to massive employment and opportunities for thousands of our young people ah or more abia god don't remember una, oh god don't remember you see, you will see that the economic development program will be structured to achieve balanced development across parts of the state this is to effectively harness the comparison advantages of community to improve the fortunes of individuals families and businesses ah when i see governor alex oti i see a man that has the interest of the people in his heart do you know what he's trying to do he's trying to harness 
He's trying to harness the comparative advantages of the community to improve the fortunes of individuals, families and businesses. Almost, this is pure service. This is service. Did you know that he told the crowd of excited indigenous and various stakeholders that all the road projects are backed by his administration are proceeding as scheduled and would be delivered and commissioned on time. See confidence now. The governor urged the citizens to fulfill their civic duties, including prompt payments of tax. Now tell me, with all these things he has done in Ambia State, and they ask the people to pay tax, why would they pay tax? They will gladly do that. They will gladly do that. He assured that his government should utilize the state finances judiciously for the collective benefits of the people. So guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please do well to comment. Air your views under the comment section. Like and subscribe to our channel. See you in our next video. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Man, Governor Alex Oti is really doing wonders in Abia State. I'm going to play you the next video. That's the next update on Abia. So sit back and enjoy the video. And uh, as, uh, the discussions are going on well. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to be done. Um, it's not something that you will... Uh, just start and finish today. So guys, Governor Alex Uti of Abia State, a seasonal technocrat, mm -hmm. a visionary leader, has unveiled an ambitious agenda to revitalize the Aimba city and propel it into the 21st century. His administration has hit the ground running, initiating a series of mega projects that promise to reshape the city's landscape and elevate the state and the standard of living for its residents. In this comprehensive report, we will delve into the top mega projects undertaken by Governor Alex Oti, exploring their significant scope and potential impact on Abia's future. Akunu Manon Zatanam Utasika, governor of since almost one year that he resumed office. Now, the number one, the Enimba Economic City spanned over 9,696 hectares in Abia State. It is the joint adventure between Crown Realities PLC, the Abia government, and the federal government. It is part of the Made in Nigeria for Export program and it is hailed as Africa's largest urban development project. This special economic zone aims to link nine states in the southeast and south south regions, targeting a potential market of 60 million people. Axis Bank is investing 150 million US dollars in this new city with the federal government entrusting 20% of its equity to the Sovereign Wealth Fund. This was scheduled to commence in 2024. This year, we will kickstart the ambitious projects. It is envisioned as a vibrant integrity city blending industrial activities, logistics, residential living, entertainment, health care, education, technology and aviation sectors. It holds free trade zone status and aligns with Nigerian export focused strategy. Additionally, the economic city has acquired land out the zone for expansion, a partnership with Mariel will see the construction of a 10 story 4 star hotel. So, guys, you've seen and heard part of the doings of the governor of Abia State, Alex Oti. Man, this man has come to serve the people. This is not business as usual. I wish other governments and other governors will come together and learn from this man. He meant well for these people. Look at the works he's doing in Abia State. Look at the works he's doing there. Man, this, 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 thing is, this thing is very, 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 very... I can't even explain. I don't know the words used to explain this. He's doing well. Just look at the mighty project he's handling. It's not a thing, it's not a thing of joke. He's doing it and he's showing evidences. You people are seeing it. So, guys, let's move on to the number two, the Abia State Seaport. In continuing his agenda to enhance the logistics and capacity of the economy of Abia State, Governor Alex Oti, speaking at the 74th Independence Anniversary of the People's Republic of China, stated that he would need the support of both the Chinese government and the investors. The deep seaport is located at Waza, 
in Okwa East and is developed along with Abia Innovation Park. According to the governor, the deep sea port will be operational in 24 months from the initial flag off and gr groundbreaking day, which was September 30th, 2023. So guys, the last but not the least, Potakot Enugu Railway Rehabilitation. The Potakot Enugu Rail Line is one of the oldest rail lines in Nigeria in the colonial era after decades of use. The railway has fallen into a state of despair. The governor initiated the plans to rehabilitate the full length of this rail line. This rehabilitation includes complete replacement of the rail tracks and rehabilitation of the train stations. Modern trains are expected to be procured for the line as opposed to the standard gauge rail lines being built in other sectors of the country. The Potakot Enugu line will utilize narrow gauge rail lines. The first track replacements, which began from Potakot to Aba, has been completed, and the station rehabilitation is expected to follow suit. And Akodekwa Kahie, man. So, guys, you've seen the recent beauty in Abia State. Now we have come to the end of this video. Please, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. So guys, I hope you are not tired though because I still have plenty of them to show you. I still have plenty of videos to show you on the happenings on Abia State. Is this governor not doing well? Guys, watch this video. So guys, Abia State University Teaching Hospital absolute regains accreditation following renovation by Governor Alex Oti. Abia State University Teaching Hospital Absut has regained its accreditation from the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria MDCN following its complete renovation by Governor Alex Oti. The governor has announced the development in a statement on Friday stating that the development will alleviate the suffering of many people. I am glad to announce to you that the College of Medicine and Health Sciences, Abia State University, Utru, has successfully regained full accreditation from the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria, MDCN, after a period of suspension lasting almost three years, reaffirming his resolute dedication to fortifying education and health care, Governor Oti made reference to the allocation of 20% and 15% of the 2024 annual budget to these pivotal sectors. So guys, he also emphasized that these allocations represent not just gestures, but indispensable obligations owed to the people of Abia State. This College of Medicine that we are talking about was inaugurated during the 1988 and 1989 academic sections with Professor Apwaka FC who specialized in plastic surgery serving as its inaugural provost. So guys, Alex Oti has moved from roads to healthcare and is massively renovating up their state's only state teaching hospital. Equipment have been upgraded a central cooling AC to be mounted amongst other things absolute is where i was trained so i know how bad that place is and i'm very glad that he has remembered that place meanwhile in a viral video posted by the commissioner for health dr koronko staff of absolute was seen in a celebration mood hailing governor alex oti for resurrecting the hospital the jubilant crowd which displayed governor alex oti's portrait also chanted solidarity songs for the governor who they said he has broken a jinx please i'll play you the highlights if you are new to this channel please do well to subscribe and drop a comment below uh, we we have witnessed dramatic renovation here and uh, in fact we don't argue over what is evidence-based um, anybody that came here about six months ago, this was like a ghost in your yard. Um, there was no human effect. We got people, the whole town, the whole populace knew that absolute was dead. Dead in the sense that, in fact, we had a lot of staff as it. We were people who were not personalists. And, uh, you know, what is it about governance? If, not, if, if 
government control. So the fact is that this present government is touching the lives of people. And uh, honestly, I would say that uh, uh, Dr. Alex Oti has played hell. So guys, there was spontaneous jubilation by staffs of the Abia State University Teaching Hospital, Abba Absut, as Governor Alex Oti has retrofitted the hospital ahead of the visits by the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria, MDCN. For the accreditation of the Absu Medical College, Absu College of Medicine lost its accreditation and inactivity as a result of in-season strike by doctors over months of unpaid wages. You can imagine why they had to go on strike. Because they were not being paid. They've owed them for months. It's not even one month. They, they are talking of months. So they had to go on strike. Thank God for Alex Oti that came into the picture now and is changing things. Look at what that man said in that video. He said that the whole people of Abba, they already had in mind that that place is dead. Like nothing good can come out of that place. Yeah? Now this man has come. He has, he has renovated everywhere. They have regained their accreditation. Everything is now working smoothly. You need to go to that place and see for yourself. You need to go to that place and see for yourself. That man is really doing wonders in Abia State. Somebody said that Abia State is the real MVPs because because they got what they ordered. Like all these saying that that they always say yeah, what you ordered versus what you get. Abia State got what they ordered because because god really sent this man to come and help abia state so guys we have come to the end of this video thank you for staying with us please do well to like subscribe and drop a comment below see you in our next video so guys i hope you have seen what the governor of abia state is doing in that state is really transforming that state see this video that i want to show you now so that you see for yourself this one is another update see for yourself what the governor is doing in that state man it's too much just watch this video so guys governor alex Oti live at the championship match in abba we are about six footballers of nigeria will be taken abroad to further their career as footballers this is one of the championship competition that was organized in Abba and this was the final match against the Heartlands and Rangers there in the city of Abba. So guys, it was an awesome time. The governor gave a warm and amazing speech at this one, praising the young talented guys, telling them how to stay focused when they eventually go outside the country to pursue their careers as international footballers. So guys, here is the highlight for that one. Please don't forget to subscribe and drop a comment below. To make the six players that we have selected for onward destination Europe, where they will be participating in different club sites, I have no doubt that they will do us proud. So guys, you have really seen that the governor Alex Oti is really dishing out this good governance thing to both the big and small. Everybody is actually benefiting. Very soon, Abia State is going to be a state to emulate from. Abia State Governor Dr. Alex Oti has assured six football players who have been presented with the opportunity to advance their football careers in Europe of his own administration support. These six young stars we are choosing in just the concluded talent hunt organized by the Dreamland Football Academy in collaboration with the Embassy of Hungary. The football competition, which was hosted in Enimba Stadium in Abba, came to a successful conclusion on Thursday with a selection of six players out of over 300 talented players who participated in the tournament to go to Hungary and other European countries to further their football skills. Speaking before handing over the gold medals and the cup to the winners of the tournament, Governor Alex Oti 
was congratulating every participant that participated in that football match. He was congratulating all of them, just like everything in football. The joy is participating in it. He, he encouraged them and said to those that weren't selected, he said that they might not win today, but tomorrow is another day. Man, this man will be a fatherly figure. So guys, please stay tuned as I play you the highlights. I'll see you in a minute. So on behalf of the Greenman Football Academy, and on behalf of the Embassy of Hungary, I present this cup to the champions. Congratulations. Governor Alex be feeling proud. Is it possible for a state governor to sit for more than two terms? Abia people needs to investigate to so that they can keep Alex forever. Imagine six families has just been directly pulled out of poverty just like that to when you add multipliers effect, you'll be talking about communities in the Abia. You are the real MVP of 2023 election. Oh. Alex Oates is bringing a great change to the whole Southeast. May God Almighty reward you more. Oh. Because this is far better than traveling to Nations Cup to watch Super Eagles game, all in the name of getting political attractions with zero impact in sports. For good eight years in office, Governor Alex Oates is a godsend to Ndiabia. Do you even know that this idea can take off street talks? I'm very glad because like play like play now be a state go come become tourist attraction for people who like to they work on you know see they be this man they make me the jealous abia state eh? this is the new deal not some people promising youths non-existing jobs in Europe in the name of political campaign. So guys, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you for staying with us. Do not forget to subscribe. Share you've seen that both young and old, they are really benefiting from this good governance. Young and old are benefiting. Nobody is left behind. Can you see that this man is really dishing out this good governance to the Abians? And I thank God for him because this man is a godsend to Abia. I still have another update for you. Just relax and watch this one so guys obi kubana plants massive investment in abia state bilonia businessman and founder of kubana group obina iobu popularly known as obi kubana is planning a mega factory in abia state the bilonia has begun the process of acquiring land to enable him to expand his footprints in abia bilonia businessman meets abia state's governor alex oti prominent businessman Obina Iyebu, popularly known as Obi Kubana, paid a courtesy visit to the governor of Abia State, Alex Oti, on Sunday. The meeting took place in the governor's residence in Nvosi, Isia Langwa, local government area in Abia State. Obi Kubana, known for his successful business ventures, expressed his commitment to establishing a significant portion of his business in Aba. Governor Oti said today he paid host to a renowned business tycoon and investor, Obina Iyobu, popularly known as Obi Kubana, and his brother Ike Iyobu at my residence in Nvosi Isia Langwa South local government in Abia State. So guys, he emphasized that he does not visit governors, but he had to visit given our pair degree. He said that the positive things that we have started doing have made a whole lot of people want to come back and invest here. He also promised to set up a major part of his business in Aba as he is already in the process of acquiring land to build industries that will employ people in Gospel State. So guys, the tycoon and over the weekend paid a courtesy visit to Abia State Governor at his residence in Invosi, Isia Rango, South Local Government Area of the state. So guys, do you remember when Alex Oti won the March gubernatorial election, he promised a mega economic reform that will make the state an investor's heaven. 
Governor Alex Oti said he had the influence and the goodwill to attract both local and foreign capital into the state. The Abia state economy is estimated at $22.8 billion. Oti has said in an interview that our state ranks 32 out of 36 on the World Bank's ease of doing business. This shouldn't be the case. Abia State is an industrial hub and should not occupy that position. So what they are planning to do now is to open up linkage roads to neighboring states like Portacourt and Aquaibom State, even Imo State. This will enable the industrial cluster to grow. Abia State has 51% unemployment rate and a debt of 191.2 billion naira. Since the assumption of office, Alex Oti had made several policy reforms, including tax reforms and reforms aimed at lifting the state out of its current infrastructural challenge. So guys, Governor Alex Oti said that Abia State is open for business and that his government will do all that is possible to support legitimate investors with a view to boosting the economy of the state, creating wealth and taking the people out of poverty. So guys, Abia State is open for business and anyone who wants to invest in Abia, be it in banking, in finance, in trade or even major businesses, he said that he will be there to support. In fact, this, uh, the inception of this is administration is that it's going to be a business-friendly government adopting robust initiatives to enhance the ease of doing business, supporting micro, small and medium-scale enterprises. I can confidently tell you that Abia State has become a strategic investment zone for business planning to help tap into the new frontiers of opportunity. So guys, this is not a rocket science. Once a vision leader is in power, things will fall in place. Things will definitely fall in place. Because this is, this is what governance is all about. Creating an enabling environment for investors and businesses to thrive. Yeah? So guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please do well to subscribe, like and drop a comment below. See you guys in our next video. Have you seen that because of the good governance that Alex Oti is dishing out to the Abians, it's already attracting investors, massive investments in Abia State. Relax as I show you this next video. So guys, according to the recent online poll, Alex Oti emerged as the best perfecting governor with Abia State also imagined as one of the fastest development states in Nigeria, attributed to the various landmarks infrastructural development. Notably, Aba came the first Nigerian metropolis with a 24 hours power supply following the commissioning of Abia State's geometric power plants. The government of Abia State is steadfast in making significant strides through government policies and sustainable development across the state and its environs. So guys, today we'll be looking at the top four massive projects transforming Abia State from 2024 to 2025 in no particular order. If that sounds like something you are interested in, please like, subscribe, and comment on which project you find exciting. Let's go. 1. Abia State's Modular Refinery In a move to boost economic development and tap into the vigorous abundance of petrol and mineral resources, Abia State is gearing up for the establishment of a groundbreaking modular refinery within the Abia Industrial Innovation Park, Okwa. West local government area, which is also featured on the list at number two, V Wells, an American based oil and gas engineering company, HSI Refinery, and petrochemical company, along with the Abia state government, 
have signed a private public partnership agreement. The 5,000 barrels per day refinery is set to process crude oil produced from a marginal field located in Abia State. So guys, this project aims to provide the crude refinery solution and production of valuable products including naphtha, kerosene, diesel and heavy fuel oil. The refinery is slated to commence a full-scale operation by 2025 creating over 2,000 employment opportunities and numerous indirect opportunities particularly for the youth of Abia State and enhancing the state's revenue. 2. Abia Industrial Innovation Park Governor Alex Oti on the 6th of September 2023 officially performed the groundbreaking for the first Abia Industrial Innovation Park AIIP at Owaza Okwa West Local Government Area stating that the project marks the beginning of an industrial revolution in the state. The park will be divided into four categories including large-scale industries, small-scale industries, medium-scale industries, and a service and residential zone. The over 1,000 hectares of land marked out for this project is in the three oil-rich communities of Oaza, Ozaku, Okwa. So guys, the third one is construction of a 5,000 capacity FIFA International Stadium and reconstruction of Aimba Stadium. In the quest to promote sports in Abia State, Governor Alex Oti has proposed to build a standard stadium in the state according to the FIFA specifications. Three different relocations has been selected for this project. Additionally, Aimba Stadium is set to be elevated to a FIFA standard international stadium. Governor Alex Oti had a very strategic meeting with one of the leading construction companies in China in an effort to partner with the Abia State's government to the construction of this international stadium. So guys, if you are new here, please do well to like, subscribe and also drop your comments in the comment section. So guys, the last but not the least, Abia International Airport. When the past government of Abia State announced the plans to construct an airport of international standard before the expiration of its administration, some critics stood against it, not because the project wasn't visible before the period, but because of their lack of confidence and the government as at that time, due to constant backlash from the citizens the project was muted recently the new administration led by governor alex oti is determined to make the conceptualization of the international airport a success so guys thank you for watching let us know which project you find exciting and you are anticipating the completion in the comment section don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you in the next video Guys, cattle dealers who did not go through the state government over planned demolition of their houses. Houses care. Which time cattle dealers begin build houses? <laughs> oh, more. The state government had announced its decision to remodel the market and end the practice of cattle dealers and their families erecting residential quarters inside the market. Cattle dealers at a market in Abia State have sued the state government over its decision to demolish residential quarters which they erected inside the market. The market we are talking about is Gaki Cattle Market in Lopanta, Umutiaze, a community in Umunoti, local government area of Abia State. Should you people know that the government has announced that uh, they will remodel the market? and end the practice of cattle dealers and their families erecting residential quarters inside the market. And why that decision was made, it was because they discovered over 50 decomposing bodies. 
ah, and over 20 headless bodies around the market in October 2023. So guys, tell me why Governor Alex Oti won't demolish that place. Do you know what has been going on in that market? 50 decomposing bodies. They found 50 decomposing bodies in the market with 20 headless bodies. Why? Like, they now had the impetus to go, to go sue government to court because he's doing the right thing. The government at that time even said that the market has become a den of criminals. Now Governor Alex Oti is here now. He wants to fence. He wants to. He wants to fence the whole place. He wants to fence the markets around, and you are now suing him to court. He wants to demolish everything, and you are now suing him to court. The cattle dealers and the residents of the markets have now filed a suitcase against the government at the Abia State High Court, Isochi. The cattle dealers' action followed receipts of a warning notice from the Town Planning Authority of Umunoti, local government area of Abia State, which indicated the plan to carry out demolition of residential houses inside the markets. The suit was filed by 12 persons, including Sakin Zango, Hassani Mohamed, and Buba Kedemure, the spokesperson of the group, for themselves and on behalf of other cattle dealers and residents of the market. The State Commissioner for Lands, Chaka Chukwemerije, Attorney General, and Commissioner for Justice, Ike Chuku Wana. Chairpersons of Omonote local government area of the state, NDBCK, and the state commissioner of police, Kenetuku Onwemele, are all joined as defendants in the suit. The court is expected to decide on an application for an interlocutory injunction seeking to restrain the government from carrying out the demolition of the residential and determination of case. I'm still waiting and watching. Let's see how they can manipulate their ways. Unbelievable. Just look at who pushing the only hard-working governor in the East because he wants to develop his state and mostly where there are series of criminal activities going on. This is unbelievable. Igbo people's home in Lagos was demolished. An ongoing demolition is still in progress. He was never had the opportunity to go to court. The governor must move swiftly and demolish the whole market and redesign without Fulani living in the market. Ibo doesn't live in the shop. So guys, in the Land Use Act, if a certificate of occupancy was given, if the piece of land overrides public interest, it will be revoked. The said piece of land overrides public interest. All manner of atrocities are being committed there. And they must leave the place. Why should they live in the market in the first place? They committed sacrilege over the market. Too many dead bodies you have found there. So the government now told them no more residential home in the market. These people are really land grabbers. If you see the shanty houses they are, they are talking about, you think it's one duplex like that, oh, Aqua Bacha. <laughs> Bacha. Oh. So, guys. We have come to the end of this video. Please do well to air your views in the comment section. Like and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. So guys, we are still talking about the most of the things Governor Alex Uti has done. Within the short time he assumed office as a governor of Abia State, and he has come up again with different massive projects. So I would like to ask you, where are other governors? Where are they? Where are other leaders? Not only in the eastern part of Nigeria, but across the nations. Where are they? Are they not seeing this? Because there's no way I'll stop celebrating a good man. Governor Dr. Alex Oti is a good man and he has come to serve the people. Do you know that it was through Governor Alex Oti that I knew that there was something called good governance? Now, there was this particular dustbin in our area, one of the biggest markets in Aba. And trust me, you know that this Abia State Governor is really, really into infrastructure. You know what happened? He went there himself 
to evacuate that dustbin. Do you know how big that dustbin was? But he cleared all of them. So guys, I will play you guys a short clip so you will see for yourself. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys in a minute. Um, we're watching you your life. Not you know, just watch it on all. How cement is going to wear her? Raw cement is going to wear her. Now keep it as well. You just watch it on all. Hey man, I'm going to play now. Now you just watch it. Just put them go go a case here. Now we have a lot of potato control. Hey man, don't have potato control. Hey man, I love the little potato control. Confirm. Potato control in Kenya now. Ba, any city. Watch I know, Governor Alex Oti, UFR. Watch I cement can I will roll. Now put a control. So guys, if you go to find our was if one was, I'm still asking you, where are other governors? Where are other leaders? Not only in the eastern part of Nigeria, but across the nation. Kedoha, I did not see this. I be want me to play you another video. Testimonies took. People are happy. People are happy, and that is what it's supposed to be. Look at this one. Give a praise the Lord. So guys, she you saw that video. She you saw that, right? You saw that happiness. You saw how those women we are happy. That is how it's supposed to be. Even the Bible said this when the righteous is in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear it to rule, the people mourn. So when that good governance is there, people will be happy. Everybody will be excited because the environment will be working for everybody. So guys, you can see it for yourself how the people in that video were so happy, so excited. Duma was saying that prior to the time when the road was constructed, everything about that area has been a mess. You know, because of that, they never had sales, that they were suffering and all that. But since the road was constructed, the lights installed, and every other thing being put in place, the whole story changed. So imagine the good number of people, this good act, this good governance, we put smiles on their face, as in it will wipe their tears. Sure you get. So I want to urge the other governors to join in this good work Alex Oti began. If you serve your people right to stop you from answering your name, see how they are praying for the governor. We see him well, and you think God will not answer them. So that is it too. Special respect to Alex Oti. You are doing well, sir. Even as now, Onya si jide kodi, mara na Onya nemo ofuma. So Governor Alex, jide kiji. So guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please do well to subscribe, like, and comment in the comment section. See you guys in the next video. What has happened in Abia is that we have had governments who are more interested in their personal pockets. So guys, Governor of Abia State, Governor Alex, is being led by Mr. Pitobi. Everything that Governor Alex Oti is doing today is Pitobi that is inspiring him to do it. 
so that in 2027 Nigerians will vote for Mr. Pito Obi. Sai, anything you see Governor Alex Oti doing today, eh? It is Pito Obi that is inspiring him. Ta, Metronu dear, you don't know what you are saying. This is the kind of comments that we read on Twitter, on Instagram, and on social media today by tribalistic set of people. I want to shock you today. Make sure you share this video, like and subscribe, so that it will reach all the people that think it's P2B that is inspiring Governor Alex Oti of Abia State. Please share, like and comment. I watched this video today. Eh? Today, a video that was made in 2015 when, when Governor Oti of Abia State wasn't even in Labour Party. He was in Abga. I watched it today. It shocked me. Like, eh, I was shocked. It was today that I knew that anybody that is good is good, no matter the situation. I watched this video. I talk say this governor way they see so. Governor Alex Oti. No be Pito be the teach him anything. No be Pito be. He no get waiting Pito be the teach that man. He is good. And it's just good. Not seen anybody won't tell me. Say this video over what today. I don't confirm her. Some of you watching this video, I know that you don't even know that Governor Alex Oti was the CEO of Diamond Assets Bank. To do better was the IMF's recent verdict on the Nigerian banking system. Many reforms were highly commendable, it said, but more still needs to be done to strengthen the central bank's oversight. With me is Dr. Alex Otti, CEO of Nigeria's Diamond Bank. Dr. Otti, welcome. Thank you very much. Yes, he shocked you, va? So all these things where they do, all these economics where they see now, this man read economics. He is a great economics, more than Mr. Pito Bisef. I'm going to play this video for you. So you watch this video of Governor Otti. See, oh, this is not the first time he's even contesting for election. He said he contested about three times. But any time he wins in Aba, they will carry him and go to court. It was him that won, no. Oh. But you know all these are Mago Mago people now. They, they took it away from his hand and gave it to another person. You know, now I see the B now. But this man, just because he has good intention for Aba people, he didn't give up. He didn't give up. He continued. He continued contesting till he won. Now he's the governor of Abia State, and because of the good intention he has, say you are seeing what is happening in Abia State. It was because of him. Now it's because of him. He's the pioneer of everything. Watch this video. Make I not talk too much. Please like, comment, and share. Share so that it will get to so many tribalistic human beings that thinks it's Mr. P Toby that is gingering him. This man said that the politics they are playing in Abia State is um, he called it block tonic uh, 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 politics to the extent that the, the, the a, a normal person will come into into government and when he's go, going out he will come out as a wealthy person with the masses money oh he be like he be like he be like at the top two words watch this video please don't forget to share like and comment so that a lot of people will see it thank you. I'll see you guys in the next video. About Ab Abia generally, and I'm saying that Abia today looks like it's a poor state, but the reality is that it's not poor. You have seen previous governors of Abia. They thought uh, by the time they finish, one of them was a civil servant. By the time he was done, he was he became one of the richest people in the state. His son. Uh, is driving a hundred million naira car. I'm sure you read that in the press. Is there anything then, wrong in that? Yes. What does he do? So guys, we have come to the end of this video. See you in our next video. So guys, in today's video, we are going to take an in-depth look at the ambitious project that promises to transform the commercial landscape of Aba, the economic heart of Abia State, under the visionary leadership of the new governor, Dr. Alex Oti. So guys, the new Ariaria International Market Development Project is set to breathe new life into one of the Nigeria's largest and most vibrant trading hearts. For decades, the Ariaria Market has been a center of activity attracting traders and buyers from across the country and beyond. However, years of neglect and 
lack of proper infrastructure have taken a turn on this vital economic engine. That was where Alex Otis' bold initiative came in, aiming to elevate the market to an international standard and unlock its full potential. So guys, one of the primary focus areas of the new Ariaria International Market Development Project is the comprehensive overhaul of the market infrastructure. So guys, sure you remember the days when you'll be looking for anything and somebody will ask, Itogokuya and Ariaria Market. Gone are the days of dilapidated structure, congested allies and inadequate amenities. This project envisions a modern, well-planned market complex that caters to the needs of both the traders and customers alike. Imagine walking through wide and well-paved road lines with vibrant shops and stores. The project includes the renovation and construction of state-of-art facilities, including ample parking spaces to alleviate the perennial traffic wars that have plagued the area for years. So guys, here is what one of the traders have to say about the renovation of the International Business Hub. Please, if you are new to this channel, you're welcome. Please do well to subscribe, like and drop a comment below. Watch the video. I'll see you guys in a minute. For the past eight nine months now, yeah, but we are really, really renovated in this very market in other states in general. Wow, the governor has been working on the roads, so many infrastructures are now in place. The market now is a place to come and stay and even I invest. You so understand? They have been working very, very well. We are really yeah. having him. I thank God that most of them have been seeing what is here in this market, the new structure, and uh, I'm happy. Many of them are coming back home to invest now. Yeah. Seeing as their state has been removed, where they can invest. Yeah. Security wise, we are okay. People in other state, we are all happy having him as our governor and this worker. Yeah. I pray they should come back, invest in other states, and make it our own. Thanks. So I'm happy. guys you all are welcome back i hope you enjoyed that video in this groundbreaking move the project incorporates elevators in the two-phase shop ensuring accessibility for all this innovative feature not only enhances convenience but send a powerful message of inclusivity catering to traders and customers with mobility challenges no longer will anyone be left behind or face barriers to participating in the market thriving economic ecosystem. So guys, safety and security are paramount concern for any successful commercial ventures and the new Arara International Market Development Project addresses these issues. Head on, the market complex will be equipped with robust security measures including advanced surveillance and well-trained security personnel so guys we have come to the end of this video thank you like subscribe and drop a comment below see you guys in the next video